Well, as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to have to put my uh, Polar Lights Refit Enterprise on the shelf for a little while. It seems that, once again, work has gotten in the way of living. Right now I'm working entirely too much to uh, invest the kind of time necessary into building that kit. I'm, look I'm thinking it's probably going to take me at least 8 to 12 weeks, a couple hours every day, to really get it to get it finished. So for the time being I've decided to put it on the shelf and take a take on something that's going to be a little bit more a little bit quicker. So um, I've decided to move on to Polar Light's uh, 1 1,000th scale Klingon D7 battlecruiser from the original series. Well there it is. Not a whole lot to say about it. The kit's pretty basic, only consists of about 25 or 30 pieces, uh, including a two-part stand and uh, a couple of uh, clear parts for that uh, are part of the forward section. Um, also has a few chrome-plated bits, but uh, I'm, I've never been a big fan of uh, pre-done chrome on models, so I'll probably just uh, mask them and then paint them with uh, some kind of chrome metalizer or straight up just chrome acrylic paint. Um, assembly is extremely simple only took me about two hours. Um, it's a bit gappy. There's a few spots, particularly on the wings, um, where the nacelles meet the fuselage that have some uh, some pretty nasty gaps that need to be puttied. A few other spots on the underside, and uh, a long seam along the neck. Um, but uh, I think I've mostly been able to take care of that with uh, a little bit of glue and some sanding. very simple. There's no real surface detail anywhere molded into it, um, which is actually kind of surprising, considering that uh, most modern subjects have at least some uh, some etched-in detail on uh, the surface, but the as you can see, the, the upper side of the rear fuselage is just completely smooth. There's no molded detail of any kind in it. Um, but that's accurate to the original shooting prop. It was uh, very hastily put together uh, for uh, one of the episodes of the original series. Um, it wasn't until uh, the movie series started to uh, be produced that they really took uh, an active interest in giving lots of surface detail to the, uh, the ships in the Star Trek universe. Like I said, it's a very basic kit. It goes together in only a couple of hours. It's not really designed to be lit. Um, there's no windows or engine ports or nacelle grills or any such thing that, uh, that really would make an easy lighting project. I suppose I could drill out the torpedo tube in the, I guess you'd call it the head, the forward section of the ship, but you know, it's not really necessary, because I don't think that it ever actually lit red in the in the show, so it technically wouldn't even really be accurate. Um, as it is, though, uh, I, I anticipate that uh, a little bit of putty, a little sanding, I can have it uh, primed and uh, pretty much finished within about a week to ten days. You know, a couple hours work every other day. Um, the kit itself comes with both water slide decals and self-adhesive stickers, so it's a really good kit for uh, for an introductory modeler. Uh, it doesn't really take much in the way of skills or tools. All you really need is a pair of clippers, side cutters, whatever, and a hobby knife, and uh, you can have it snapped together and put the stickers on it in a couple of hours, and you can have it on your shelf and give you something nice you could point to and say, hey, look, I made that. Everybody needs something like that on their shelf. So after that, with a little luck, the hobby shop will, uh, downtown will uh, get in the uh, companion kit to this ship, the Polar Lights 1000th scale original series 
pre-refit enterprise and uh, I'll hopefully be able to pick that up and do it as my next project after this and then by around uh, middle of October or so with luck work will have slowed down enough to the point where I'll actually be able to get back to my one real desire that being the 350th scale refit which I'm very excited about though I, uh, I need to buy a lot of supplies I'm running dangerously low on LEDs so it should be a lot of fun anyway working on this little thing and uh, stay tuned for updates